Ah, uh, yes. So now you're wondering why we're back in Limgrave in the Stormhill area. Well, there's actually a way to skip Godric and just get to Lurnia without fighting Godric, which you can actually do that. So in order to do that, you have to take a secret path that's like down here somewhere. And you go this way. There's a bridge right there, and that cuts off, but you can go this way. Well, sort of. Okay, so this is how you do it. So there's this big road right here that cuts off right here. Alright. And you take that path. It leads you to this bridge that leads to Lernia Lake, but it's cut off, so you really can't make it past there. So, what you do now is you jump off the bridge right here. You take a left, not a right, a left. Jump up here. There will be some dogs chasing you. So yeah, be careful about that. And you just scale this cliff. So yeah, just keep on scaling the cliff and you'll make it there. Oh man. Alright. Freaking dogs. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're getting close. So yeah, that's another way to get to learn your lakes. So there you go. Now there's got to be a way that I can jump down here. There's gotta be a way that I can get down there. Alright, I'm just gonna speed this next bit up. I think this is it right here. That's part of the ruins. I'm pretty sure this is one of the locations to get a Shabri regroup in. And there's a lot of knights here. A Cuckoo Glintstone. My god, there's so many of them. I'm th I'll, th I'll take them on. Now, these guys can do magic. Oh, I'm almost dead. I can't die a second time. Oh my god. Come on now. Alright, they're both dead. Alright, I'm pretty sure down this area there's a Shabriri Grape, I believe. I'm not sure. So head on down here. We open thy door. And Shabriri Grape. And there's a chest that has the Two Fingers Heirloom. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We got a Shabriri Grape. Now we have to get somewhere along here. All right. Wait, is there a grace here? I'm pretty sure there's a grace here. I don't know. There's got to be a grace here. Come on now. Nope. No grace. All righty, let's keep on going. Got this good old grace right here. Alright. Learn your highway north. Hold up. Oh. We was already at the location. We just have to go even, I don't know, northwest of it. Which I'm pretty sure is down here somewhere. Purified ruins. Ah, yes. 
She should be waiting for us somewhere down here, I think. There she is. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you... seem... somehow... firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind. The blessing. Now what? Hold up. All right. Now we gotta get to the Gate Town area, I think, which is right up here. So I'm gonna fast travel to here. All right. And now I'm just gonna mark this spot. And now I'm going to speed this bit up. Here we are. Let's get this grace right here. All right. And we rest at it. And now we talk to Hyeta yet again, who is right over here. There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabiri grapes really are. They're human eyes. Yet searing. Yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. Their eyeballs. I repeat. Their eyeballs. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. I I'll be fine. Okay. All right. Now, what do we do next? You good? I apologize. I'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now I gotta do the next step in the quest line. So yeah, hold up. Ah, oh, so we just reset the freaking area. All right. That's what I just did right now. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Hyatt yet again. Here we go. Ah, uh, is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason. Why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail, so faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned I'm certain now. Okay. All right. Now, what's the next step? All right. So, the next step... The next step into this quest line, we have to get to Bellium Church, or Bellum Church. But, we gotta get a finger freaking barrier or something. I don't even freaking know. But we have to get it at the Church of Inhibition. Which means we have to go to the Grand Lift of Dectus, But take this path. 
and avoid the freaking madness things or something and just travel through the frenzy flame village up to the church of inhibition and yeah that's where you need to go so yeah that's going this is going to be fun the bellum highway all right let's speed this bit up Alright, we made it to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Now we just gotta head this way, up this hill. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. So, yeah. Oh, there's this tower right there. I'm gonna try to avoid it. Oh god! What is that? That looks scary. Let's make sure it doesn't see. Oh, it sees us! Run! I'm gonna get madness! I'm gonna get madness, but I gotta get that shiny! Okay, it doesn't spot me. Good. Alright, we're good. Oh hell no. Nah. It doesn't spot us, so we're good. Look at these. Yellow ember. It sees us! Go! Go, 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 go! Get to the tower. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I got madness! Oh no! Alright. Come on now. Let's hope they don't spot us. I'm gonna get these guys. Alright. Now we gotta get to that church down there. The Church of Inhibition. Now we've got those madness guys out of the way. Oh my god. Alright. Now we ain't gotta deal with them no more. The Howl of Shabriri. My god. Just keep on going. Oh, that's the wrong way. This is the right way down here. This looks like the Frenzy Flame Village. Oh, man. And there's another minor urgery, so that's pretty cool, I guess. The Frenzy Flame Village. Look at all these madness people. Oh my god. I gotta get through this village. They all got glowing yellow eyes. They all got glowing piss colored eyes. I gotta find the Church of Inhibition. Is that it up there? That better be it. This better be the place. If it's not, then that's not good. Okay, this definitely is the place. Church of Inhibition. Now I gotta fight a dude named Vike. He should spawn at any moment. There he is. Let's, let's invite him to freaking... Okay, he's charging at me. Alright, he's down. He thought he could heal, but I killed him immediately. Oh my god. Alright, we got the fingerprint grape. And Vike's war spear. Alright, now I gotta get to the Church of Bellum. So yeah. That's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. This looks like the place. Yep, Bellum Church. This is where we need to be. Now, let's arrest at thy grace. Alright. Now we talk to Hyeta yet again. Oh, hello. Is that you over there? Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. 
I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Here's your stupid grape. Oh. Oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> How sweet, yet how it burns. <clears throat> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Thank I'm sure I'll be a finger. Okay, and now what's the next step? I'm gonna get to this grace right here to think about it. Ooh, this is a big step. Oh my god. This next step is gonna be big. I have to get to Lindel. So that means... Oh man, I have to go to Fort Hythe and Fort Ferris again and get the medallion? Or, I can go to the Roostroom Precipice. Yeah, maybe I should do that. So that means I gotta travel all the way down the Revengers Shack and go all the way over here. Oh my god. This is gonna be a long and a hard adventure through here. So, let's see which way I'm facing. I'm facing this way. So, I'm speeding this bit up. We have made it to Runestrun, boys and girls. Alright. Let's get past this ladder climbing bit. So, you know the drill. Where is this ladder? Yeah. Um, you know the drill. Okay, hold up. Let's. Should we do this stuff? I'm gonna. It's late. Oh, it's early day. Alright, I guess we can do early day. Alright, let's speed this ladder bit up. All right, we've made it up. Now just breeze through here. I'm just gonna breeze right through this place. I don't care if I set off traps or anything. Hey, I didn't set off a single trap. All right, let's speed this elevator bit up. All right, we made it to the next grace. And we made it to the actual dungeon itself. The rune strewn precipice. And look at that nice view of the Grand Lymphodectus right down there. Pretty cool view. You know what we do. We always rest at the Grace every time we light them. Or something like that. I don't even know. Now it's late day. We don't need to speed this elevator bit up. We can just ride it and just enjoy thy ride. Just like that. Now we sneak up behind this dude. And let's pray to God that that bat doesn't freaking slip us off. Thank God. There we go, bat's down. There's a bunch of bats over here. There's another bat right there. Let's wait for him to jump down. All right. Now I just climb up thy ladder and let's speed this next bit up. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we made it through all that. Now we can get this grace safely. And let's fast travel to morning, or like pass time to morning. Now, let's go fight Makar. Good old Makar. Good old Makar. Oh man. Here we go. Summon thy mimic. Use heal. And to be safe, use Flask of Wondrous Physic. Alright, let's get rid of the Spirit Calling Bell. Or Wrath Calling Bell. My Mimic has been using that a lot. Here he is. Ah, he's after me! Oh, he did half my health! He's after me! Oh, that's the wrong one! All right, so wait till he's distracted. It looks like he's distracted. Oh, he put him to sleep. All right, good stuff, Mimic. He's about to do a slam attack. Oh, we're good. All right, let's wait. My Mimic will do the job of distracting him while I go in for the clean blow behind him. Pause. All right. He's almost down. All right, Makar is down. Now I got three Magma Worm skill swords. Yay. All right, that's awesome stuff. Now let's light this grace. And we climb up. I'm gonna speed this next bit up. Ah, uh, yes. Good old Atlas Plateau.